Yeah, I listen, I still would. I still would love to. I mean, my my focus is going to be child and youth uh, development. And uh, mm -hmm. um, I I certified myself as a child and youth development coach during COVID so that I can still oh. go and I work with boys in juvenile hall. Oh <laughs> I just feel like he's here with us. That was Seth's power. They got us lost in our own minds. Something was changing at the aviary. We had to leave before somebody got killed. I didn't join a cult. But that's what it was. I didn't know what it was. How long till Gallup? Two days. Hey, it's Jim Alexander with Real Talker. Well, look at you ladies looking so ready for like a ball and all. <laughs> <laughs> Very much Try. different than in a movie. No makeup in a movie, you know, it's just play, yeah, go and play in the desert. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's a, it was a quick hair and makeup do. That everywhere. was amazing though. That was my favorite yeah. part. I love it. Five minutes, in and out. <laughs> yeah. It was refreshing to see that. Cause you know, in some movies you see like them in a desert and they still have makeup and all that. Like everyone's got perfect hair and all. It's like, no, this was realistic. This is how you're probably sweating and looking, you know, <laughs> you're First not caring about your image. <laughs> it was hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious, before this film, were you too like into the whole genre of like cult? Because you go on Netflix, any streaming platform, there's like all sorts of documentaries now. I know I'm a sucker for them, but were you yeah. into this or interested in this realm of like craziness? Uh, me, absolutely. I'm I'm fascinated. I, I love watching things like Life Behind Bars and and listening to podcasts about crimes and watching documentaries about cults and all of it it just the, the psyche of of the human being is very interesting to me so um it was a big draw for this to try to dive in and and get an understanding of what it might be i say that lightly because i don't i still don't understand it um it's probably but, a good thing you don't want to yeah, understand exactly. it that means I don't understand it. <laughs> what it's like to be brainwashed but yeah. fun to play really fun to play <laughs> how about you lorenza um, for me, I am not a fan. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the human psyche and 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 just always finding ways for why humans do certain things. But to me, like, you know, crime horror podcasts, I feel like Malin really got me into it while we were shooting. My partner also is obsessed with horror. She's obsessed with anything crime cult related. And we had, she had been forcing me to watch these things. And then I started to like, oh, wow, this is kind of, this is really scary, but kind of good. And then the script came along and like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't say no. Cause yeah. it, it, I, I, now I really see the appeal and the addiction. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mullen, you at one point might've been a psychologist. We might've not been talking about that. Did it kind of make you reevaluate if you went to that, the realm of work and line of work, you know, like what sort of psyches you'd get into with people and kind of seeing now the other aspect of it, like, yeah, I listen, I still would. I still would love to. I mean, my my focus is going to be child and youth uh, development. And uh, um, I I certified myself as a child and youth development coach during COVID so that I can still Ooh. go and I work with boys in juvenile hall uh, to help them out. And I love it. I, I mean, I find it fascinating. I find it uh, sad. I find it hopeful. I find it all those things. And I think that it taps into the reality of of humans and and where we come from and where we're going but yeah i think it's heavy i think if it was an everyday nine to five job mm. I, i'm i'm happy just tapping into my own psyche every time <laughs> trying to figure that out it's enough yeah you two spend a lot of time together i imagine not only on screen but off screen probably getting to know each other i'm curious to know from your uh you know kind of friendship that you must have developed. What is your like favorite thing you learned about each other? I'm going to start with you, Lorenzo. What's your favorite thing about Malin that you kind of discovered or want to share with us that we might not know? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, that's a good <laughs> thought. The first thing that I will say, though, like we didn't have a lot of time to like, you know, bond and we bonded instantly. Like I'm obsessed with this woman. I was already a fan, but with situations like this movie, you never know how you're going to like, you know, do the thing. Like, is this person a method actor? Is this person going to yeah. be like, Weird about what they do like am I gonna have to be really like in a headspace because I kind of just mold and we were kind of very similar which was such a gift we were joking in between takes like even when we were like in really deep deep mind water so to speak we kind of had a very similar 
energy and 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 the way we worked was really similar so that was like the biggest gift i mean what, you know what about you Mal, and what about lorenza that you can share lorenza is the most most energetic person i've ever met and in, in the most beautiful way i just you know you miss her energy when she's not around it was she'd come to set and it's like this little ray of sunshine that walked in and it was long heavy days and really mentally challenging but her mood was always up and um she always brought great healthy snacks that I loved. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's such oh, a- Oh, and about the best vegan brownies. <laughs> we try to stay healthy out in that desert, but, um, yeah. but we had a great, she's just a wonderful human. You know, her Latina background is, it bubbles over and, and it just is infectious. I love it. Well, I hope to see you guys again on a screen share together, you know, <laughs> having Cheetos or whatever snacks that you bring <laughs> right. together. So I, it was a joy. Thank you. Thank you, ladies.